Right then, so I bought this car yesterday and wasn't completely sure what to do with it. I swapped the wheels over and it does look a lot better. Welcome to another episode of Jeff's 5 Minute Makeovers. That looks a bit better, doesn't it, on the T5 wheels? I've got a 7 seat conversion ready to go in the boots. What shall I do with this? I don't really know why I bought it. I, just, I can't say no to a good quality local Volvo, uh, which is exactly what this is. It's a 2 litre petrol. Um, it's a manual gearbox, it's done about 130,000 miles. It's a really good car. And then um, I was tagged in a post on Facebook yesterday, uh, just as I was collecting this car, about my friend Paul, who's been involved with Jeff Buys cars before, and he was potentially looking for a bigger car than his Saab um, turbo convertible. So he was gonna sell the Saab turbo convertible and buy something sensible. So I texted him and said, how about you swap it for a Volvo? And um, here we are, less than 24 hours later, his Saab is just there, just getting a clean, and um, we are actually gonna do the swap. So Paul and I are gonna go for a little coffee and uh, hang out, have a bit of a dad's day out, and then he's gonna drive home in the Volvo, and uh, I get to keep the Saab. So should we go and have a little look at the Saab? Now, funny thing is, I actually bought this Saab back in July. There he is, look. And then Paul bought it from me. So um, he's had it a little while, and he's looking rather lovely, isn't it? What a nice looking car. All right, Paul. Yeah, so I'll take this Saab in and Paul gets the Volvo. So now we're gonna go for coffee, compare the two cars, and um, most importantly, we're just gonna hang out because his missus is fetching his monsters and uh, my missus will fetch my monsters. So uh, it's dad's day, isn't it? Dad's day out. We'll probably get the roof off as well. What a nice car. So let's have a little chat and see what he thinks of his new car. It's very nice. It's, 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 uh, <laughs> as I, as I was just told you saying then, it's one of these going from that to this. Yeah. You, I pulled out, A, I've not driven a, a manual in six months. Yeah. And B, this has, it's lovely, but it's got no power. Yeah. Cause that you, you've noob tuned that. Yes. Right. So that you've got a verified what 220 horsepower yeah so basically carl that does youtube he's, yeah. a, he's a one-man band yeah um he's a lovely bloke and he really knows he used to run saab racing team yeah he used to run touring cars he knows ev everything and then anything about saab yeah and when you first look you think oh it's a bit dodgy because he says post the ecu to you you know, and he's one of these, but there's nothing on Facebook, there's no websites, there's nothing. He's very well known but in he's, the Saab scene, isn't Oh he? yeah, I mean, yeah. you've mentioned Carl's name and, and everyone knows who he is. But someone, I've known, like I said, just started driving Saabs. So to me, I, yeah, you look at it, you think, mm, yeah, 220, no dyno, no nothing. You think, oh, it's a bit dodgy. But literally, he knows his onions, basically. So the, the first time you drove it with the new tune on it, how did you feel the difference? What was it like? Well, it's quite funny because what I didn't realise is that Saabs have in first gear, they have a limiter. Yeah. You can't put your foot down in first gear because it limits the power. So I set off and I went, got out into traffic for all right, great, I can't use. Drove it in traffic round for about half an hour. Found, finally found a nice piece of structure, put my foot down. Oh my good God, I yeah. tell you. You literally, these go from 150 and it is it feels like all of 220 brake yeah. course because it literally puts your foot down and it puts you in the back of your seat and off you go. Brilliant. You're gone. Yeah. Um, I would, yeah, he's, he's uh, like I said, he knows what he's talking yeah. about. For anyone out there that wants a new to get it done. There so, you go. Yeah. Uh, so when you put your foot down in your two litre non-turbo manual gearbox Volvo, you were blown away by the- Oh, I tell you something, Jeff. Yeah. The, the performance is not there. <laughs> It's, no, not, and... it's not the fastest <laughs> car in the world. It's a cruiser. It's a cruiser. It's a cruiser. Yeah. Like, for what I need, to yeah. get the kids in, to get the junk in the back, the scooters, the bikes, the dogs, yeah. etc., etc., then it's great. Yeah. It's like I said, the, I tried that and it just doesn't, yeah. doesn't work. So, where this whole thing, this swap came around from, is I'd seen that you'd posted on the weekend actually yes. about needing a bigger car. Yeah. And then we had some jokey messages on WhatsApp. I've got two small humans in my life as well, and I used to run around in an Astra Patoni convertible. And exactly what you said, you went to the park and yep. the kids were like, Come and take the bike, come and take the scooters, yeah. come and do this, come and do that. And you're going, mm, <laughs> No, yeah, but we can but, have the roof yeah, off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yay. Great, Dad. It's yeah. one degree. I don't yeah. want the roof off. <laughs> All right, so I guess um, that's, that's pretty much that then. We'll do some swap overs with the V5. I'll do some video around these two cars and show people what we've been talking about. And then uh, we'll go 
to go get a coffee. Yeah, sounds good to me. Sweet. All right, thank you very much. That's, no problem. That's a Jeff deal, that <laughs> is. That's a Jeff deal, yeah. Um, but we were joking as well, whilst we were waiting for the one car to be cleaned, I said to Paul, look, if you don't like it for whatever reason, run it for a bit and then I'll just take it back. Yeah. So I'm bound to have another Saab or Volvo or whatever it might be. So yeah. if you see something pop up on the Facebook page and you think, oh yeah, I quite fancy that, yeah. we'll just swap again. Yeah. And this car will just be like, it'll end up being like the Jeff Poole car. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah because I, I now have, a, 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 my lovely Saab. I do love Saabs. Yeah. They're, they're quirky, they're different. And... Yeah. I've inserted in yeah. your love of Saab. Yeah, exactly. Good. Yeah. Good. So um, probably another six months time, yeah. you'll probably get another WhatsApp going. Well, have, you got, have you got a Saab Aero going? <laughs> Fancy a Saab Aero, whatever. Be like, yeah, all right, then do yeah. your swap again. Exactly. So there we go. Yeah. And if there's anyone else out there that has got interesting cars and they think, oh, Jeff, I quite like a look at the uh, whatever you've just posted on your Facebook page, uh, get in touch and come and have a coffee, have a chat. Hopefully it'll be a warmer day. Well, yeah. And uh, there we go. Well, yeah, right. Definitely do it. Lovely. Yeah. All right. I guess uh, thanks for watching our little swap over video. <laughs> nice jacket, by the way. So oh, what, thank you. What yeah. flavour is that one? Where's that one from? Uh, this is a. Uh, it's actually Marks and Sparks. Uh, did, did you know what? <laughs> it's funny you should say that, right? I was joking earlier on about this being Dad Day. Okay. <laughs> your missus is picking up your kids. Yeah. My missus is picking up my kids. My missus thinks I'm at work. <laughs> and we're having a jolly. Yeah. Right? This is Dad Day. Dad day. So we're enjoying Dad Day in our. M&S jackets. Oh, you, you're now, an M&S, yeah. I, I feel like that makes me quite grown up, the yes. fact that I shop at M&S. Well, I, well technically, we, it was my mum's fault. Yeah. We went to go well, meet mum for coffee. Yeah. And me messaged with me. And she went, oh, you need your coat, don't you? Said, yeah. I do need your coat. She said, oh. So I looked around and she said, oh, that looks nice. I went, oh, I like that one. She went, all right then. Yeah. I'll buy you that. So Excellent. I was like... Oh, okay. But it's, I tell you, it's the warmest jacket I've got. Yeah, and it's, it's, the, it's the same for me. And, I, and I, I won't buy clothes. I won't buy no, anything. No. And then what I'll do is I'll moan about the price. Yeah. I think this was 70 quid and then I bought it in the sale. Yeah. And then obviously I'll be like, oh, darling, I'm not, I'm not paying. I'm not paying that. I'll, I'll buy it next time. <laughs> so I'll freeze for an entire yeah. winter. And then the next year I'll be like, oh, we should have bought this last yeah, year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I tell you. It's, it, yeah, it's a proper dad's day out, isn't it? Brilliant. Like, so All right. Uh, just need a... Uh, I need a flat cap now. I can sort you out with a flat cap. <laughs> right, we'll go to M&S and we're going to get you a flat cap. All right. <laughs> Paul says to me, I thought you were a professional YouTuber when I said to him that I broke my tripod and I don't have a camera mount. But I seem to recall last time you and I stood next to a car together. Do you remember we had a problem with all that noise? Yeah, yeah. We were trying work. to film next to those two cars and every every like five seconds a car would go whoosh. And then there was a kid on like a scooter or something <laughs> yeah. and it's like, oh my God. <laughs> I know, we just couldn't do it, could we? <laughs>